around people. It may be a good one, maybe a real one, or even a very memorable one. But very unfortunately, we only get one chance to make a good first impression. Today, my speech is about first impressions, and hopefully at the end of my speech, especially who just met me for the very first time, um, will leave you a very good impression. I'm going to share with you some facts about first impression and some tips on how to make a very good first impression of people. According to experts, smile, the speed of a smile can affect your first impression. Um, smiling, <laughs> smiling too quickly or too big can make you seem insincere. They said a slow grin can appear more genuine than a smile with teeth showing. So next time don't stare at people with this. <laughs> Psychologists said it only takes human three seconds to one minute to form a conclusion on a fresh acquaintance. Why does it take so little time for us to make an impression on, on people? Because people develop their impression based on the memory they have gathered from the past. We program to collect data in our brain and analyzing them to form opinions on people or the situation. This explains why when you go into the store, you find a salesperson, you can immediately figure out if that person is trustworthy. Are you going to buy something from them? <laughs> or when you walk into a group of people, you immediately figure out which person can make you, can get along with you the best. This is all because of ancestry. Human instinct, we're trying to avoid danger. We have to uh, make an immediate response to avoid anything that's going to hurt us. As I mentioned earlier, our brain is just connecting dots and gathering information to help you to, de to develop an impression on people. Therefore, all our initial impression on people are all based on our previous experience. During the process of meeting a new person, have you ever found yourself saying to them, yeah, oh my goodness, have we ever met? You seem so familiar. This is an, this is an example of brain developing an impression based on your past experience. This, um, this person might be wearing the clothes you are familiar with, or just the sound of their voice, or even just their smile, smell. We're just trying to create some familiarity with the person we are meeting. Developing, developing your first impression is just about connecting the dots in your brain. All of that happens just within three seconds to a minute. Leaving a good impression on people is more than just eye contact or the smile on your face. I would like to focus on a couple things and Hopefully it will give you a good idea on how to make a good impression. First of all, your posture. Power and status are ver non-verbally conveyed by height and space. Standing straight, standing tall, pulling your shoulder back, holding your head straight are all the signal of being confident and competent. You, do, you want people to think you are very confident. Secondly, your appearance. Dress appropriately for the inner, for the situation is very important. A, people, a person's clothes can say a lot about them. When you're going to a business interview, it is appropriate to wear business attire. You can wear a nice shirt, nice blazer, nice dress pants, or skirt that's over your knee, and a nice dress shoes that's comfortable to wear, or anything to like that. However, wearing a very tight dress and very high heels uh, is more appropriate with the hot day you met at the interview. It is always important, of course, to have a good hygiene. 
You want to spell good at all times. <laughs> it's always important. Oh, when you first meet someone, greet them with a smile and give give them a very firm handshake. <laughs> Third, I'm going to talk about the conversation. Try to start with a simple question to get the conversation flow going. You can ask questions such as, how are you doing today? Where are you from? Using simple words and try to keep your response concise because you do not want to take over the whole conversation. And while you're having the conversation, it's important you lean in slightly to show your engaged and interest and always maintain eye contact. But be respectful to other people's personal space and do not stare at other people's face for a long period of time. This might create tension and you might make other people feel very uncomfortable. I hope we can all master the tips on making a very good first impression. But remember, being yourself, being sincere, always have a smile on your face is the best way to leave a very good first impression. There's a saying, you don't slap the face with smiles. You, I certainly value you a very good first impression. Hopefully, at the end of my speech, I leave you all a very good impression. But above all else, let's make every impression a very lasting one. See me. Very short skirt.